It has come to my attention. I have came across and discovered a philosophical concept called dream world. And I've heard the word being played multiple times around literature I have read, but I have came across an advocate where I find very much enlightenment through it. And I'd wish, wish to discuss with the students here about what dream world is. And I consider it a developing concept in philosophy as a student of dream world as to, and to my students, I can only best describe what exactly is dream world. So let me get into that. So what is dream world? Well, dream world is a philosophical concept by a man named Alex Goldstein. Um, Alex claims no authorship towards it, and he says he's only an advocate of it. Yet this is where I learned most of what dream world is. And over the phone with him, he told me that, or at least from my understanding, that dream world takes influence from many different disciplines and concepts but has its roots in the dream argument, simulated reality, object-oriented ontology, philosophy of psychedelics, sexual liberation, and both the esoteric and occult. And dream world is a place where we can connect as human beings and further reach enlightenment together as a people. Anyone can get into dream world. So, but everyone also exists in this dream world animals, objects, you name it, so as long as it has a spirit. And our consciousness, dreams, wishes, desires can all play out reality, but are all true in the dream world. So we can connect to dream world by making these connections and comparisons to actual intellects in reality and in the written works who have reached dream world by trying to recall it back to us using their own semantics and words. So it requires a lot of literature criticism and reading. Now, once we reach the dream world, we can be fully liberated from the constraints of anxiety and authority in reality. We can focus on being better artists, people, and citizens to make our little dr literal dreams come true in reality. So often in for us to connect to dream world, we're using telepathy to break this matrix, quote unquote. And so dreams are real communication zones. So dream world is also critical to the red pill, which was an internet reactionary thought of the last decade, and as well other kind of post-alt-right subcultures, and as well as the synthetic left, that's the fake left. Dream world advocates this kind of fun, happy, uh, I wouldn't say hedonist belief, but from what I can understand from Alex, it's many things at once, and I'm still trying to understand this. I'd like to tell my students that I'm more like a translator and editor, and Alex is more like the orator and writer. As you can see, H.P. Lovecraft, we all know of him with the Cthulhu mythos, was the main orator and writer of those horror stories, and August Derleth, uh, translator and editor, had to get Lovecraft and show it to the public. I see Alex von Goldstein, or Alex Goldstein, as that New Age H.P. Lovecraft, or, and it's not the Cthulhu Mythos, it's his concept of dream world, and I, Pill Eater, am that August Derleth to be the translator and editor of such works. So, from what I understand, and uh, asking Alex who are the main influences from dream world? And I only can say this list of things that he likes, or at least has influenced this view on dream world. And that's Timothy Morton, Jean Boulgevard, John Sorrell, Jason Reza Giorgiani, Martin Heidegger, Joseph Campbell, Aldous Huxley, Timothy Leary, Edward Rosenfeld, Marcel Proust, H.P. Lovecraft, Gene Wolfe, Charles Manson, Philip K. Dick, Roger Zelazny, Alex Gray, Terence McKenna, Julius Evola, Bridget Riley, Alexandra Hororowski, Alejandro Hororowski, Jonathan Bowden, Douglas Pierce, The Movement of the Dirtbag Left, Some Works of the Kabbalah, Esoteric Christianity, and etc. Now, there's probably more to this list, but 
these basic figures should help get down the concepts by making literature comparisons for a user to enter Dreamworld and to use this kind of literary criticism to hopefully touch in as my own criticism is understanding that postmodernists will take this literature to be inside reality while Dreamworld breaks the postmodern narrative to enter this esoteric world. So for the methods to enter into dream world, you have to realize everything is a hyper object. This requires reading the work of Timothy Morton. Every time we meet someone, even call someone on the phone, that is a voice from a supernatural power. Whatever you're feeling good or being euphoric, that is a spiritual message to break the matrix. And the matrix is the reality. And the matrix is the social conditioning of playing by the rules of life, society, the computer ruling us, social media, and no one interacting with one another. The elite want us to be isolated. And I think the evil elite is often called Martians or demons that are invading our mind for us to get into the dream world. And the enemy is this extraterrestrial being. There is many interactions what's happening, but we know that all our dreams and goals are real but only in dream world. Now you can summon people to help you, known as guardians, so as long as you think about them. If you believe something will happen, it will come true. Everyone gets to a certain dream world, but often they clash with other dream worlds. The correct dream world is to advance people, not to let them be slaved towards the matrix. Or be a slave towards the matrix. There's also another thing about dream world where history was always as often associated with the present and all our personal struggles was the struggle of our own guardians and of past events. That is to say, most of history was kind of this Joseph Campbell hero of a thousand faces and that the election of Donald Trump and Keck Magic basically was this old prediction of us using computers to vote in people and that the past often will tell something about us. And this has to do with the magic of telepathy. So in telepathic communication or telepathy, all relationships are connected by a hidden language in the mind. So as long as we dream about them or think about them, we are talking to them, to those guardians or to other people in reality. This is not fake. It is real. They are also dreaming about us. And so if I dream of a person, I've actually had a telep telepathic talk with that person. When you daydream or even physically dream about a person, we're communicating that one. It's not fake. The question to dream world advocates is, how can we increase our telepathy? And again, this has to do with the guardians. Now, the guardians are people who are envious of or we look up to, you know, often guide us, celebrities we like, people who we wish to be with, you know, our daydreams, those are the guardians. They are always by our sides in our dreams. We are influenced by them and our art, lifestyle, and ethics is emulated by them. They are having telepathic communications with us as we speak, you know. Then there is negative energy to those who we hate, Often, our room resolved issues in reality, but may be different in the dream world. Suppose if I hate someone in reality, in my dreams, I pretend that I actually love them because dream world is superior to reality. If I met the guardian dream world, the actual person met you in re reality. Maybe not in the moment you have or you're going to meet them, but have met you in some incarnation of it. Now, the guardian telepathy theory has to something to do about hyperobjects and hyperobjects all around us. Hyperobjects comes from the object-oriented ontology, and you have to understand that. So, from what I understand from it, objects often create the subculture we like, but we become a part of it. Our desires to these said objects manifest dreams into reality. So, the dream world coming into reality. We don't have to practice to act a certain way to win over people. So we don't have to practice like a skill to win over people. Instead, we consume in said objects and become a part, and the objects become a part of our reality. The associations and cultural attitudes follow. Ask, 
Do these objects also spiritually try to talk to us? Do objects use telepathy for humans? Or are they also contacting guardians and the objects itself is a manifestation of our influence on the guardians? So in a way, everything is spiritually connected in some way or another. And I want to get to this part that when we reach dream world, now how do we reach it? We learn about dream world and we become a part of it. You know, the problem is these, as I said before, those figures are not telling us about dream world. We have to be aware of the dream world movement first, as Alex was the one telling me about dream world. But however, you know, as I said before, some people reach it and are hostile towards dream world as a whole and the movement. Again, when we are hyper aware of the dream world concept, we stop others from making the same mistakes like Mark Fisher made in acid communism. In other words, Mark Fisher reached dream world, but he turned out to be a self-defeating neoliberal, wanting us to be in reality. So dream world, there, there's a war going on as between the Martians and the demons and hacking into this and letting us reach a little pine, uh, uh, a little slice of dream world, but not letting us fulfill our true potentials. So people get to dream world in different ways, and the best intellects and philosophers have reached dream world, but they explained it in a different word. So in a way, dream world is an egalitarian concept of enlightenment, because dream world is around us, each of us are connected to dream world, and we can reach dream world, but if we are bad users of going into dream world, dream world will hate us back. And again, we could be the Timothy Leary advocates and activate getting high into said dream world, or we can go to sleep to reach it, or even daydream. It's about messing with this dream reality in order for us to be better artists, and to be so enlightened we're past beyond any left-wing, right-wing dichotomy. So this is a developing concept, and this is all just hearsay from my phone conversation with the guru known as Alex, the main advocate of Dreamworld. So as a student of Alex, I was recently exposed to this Dreamworld concept, and I still have many questions for him. Hopefully I can learn more and can teach the concepts of Dreamworld to others, like to all my students listening to this lecture. Dreamworld, as of 2021, is a fringe esoteric concept, but is important for the internet underground to know about. I hope we can learn more about Dreamworld in the future. So, class dismissed. Thanks for listening.